My friend here, Stuart, got me involved in running about 18 months, two years ago, and I seem to have got the bug for it. So, I've done a few races, and I've never done the warm-up beforehand, and that, I think, helps, actually. Yes, I am doing the 10K, uh, which I've done many times before. Uh, heart of Kent Hospice, charity that's close to my heart for a uh, personal reason. My father-in-law, who passed then there, and you know, since then, and even before I did it anywhere, but it's, uh, it's always a good cause to do it. It's a really nice course. Um, it's a nice part of the countryside. Three miles. Five k, five k, three miles. Quite quick for me. Thirty-two minutes, Jenna done it in, so I had to keep up. The hospice took really good care of uh, my dad and Livy's granddad, who passed away in January. Um, he uh, was really well taken care for by the hospice, and we couldn't thank the nurses and the staff and everybody so much for the wonderful care and support. Not that just he got, but the whole family. We was lucky that Liv was able to come and see him in the in the days before he passed in a really like warm and comfortable environment. My granddad five, six years ago was in the Park Kent Hospice based in Mason. Uh, so he had his end of life care there. I actually run the half marathon in Silverston um, when Granddad was still alive to raise money for the hospice. Uh, one of my friends, we decided to kind of start running again last year. Um, we wanted to try and get fitter and for our mental health as well. Unfortunately, one of our um, friends in a, an NCT club, uh, he passed away maybe six, seven years ago. Um, so when this came up and with my friend who's got a family connection to it, just felt like the right thing to do as much as uh, doing the exercise as well.